In this video, we'll take a look at the compass page on your Garmin 22X or 32X. First thing we'll do here is we'll actually navigate to an existing waypoint so we can actually see some details here on the compass page. I'm just going to choose a, rate, a waypoint here, turn on the navigation. I'm just going to hit back and then now I'm going to go to our compass page and now we can get down to business. You can see here that we're navigating to this waypoint. We have some details based on our current position. Now, first thing is that if you have the 32X, you have the electronic compass, while the 22X does not have one. You can easily see this because one, there's data fields not being uh, updated. And also when you're rotating the device, the direction of travel arrow is not updating. So if you had the 32X, it would be updating. Also, if you were to press the menu button here, you would have Calibrate Compass as an option. However, we do have a couple other options here. We can see here we have Change Data Fields, Change Dashboard, and Set Up Headings, and of course, Restore Defaults. Restore Defaults will just reset everything out of the box, but we're gonna to focus today on Set Up Heading and Change Data Fields. So Change Data Fields, pretty self-explanatory. Basically, what we can do, we can modify or change the data fields for each of these four slots right here so easiest thing to do is use your joystick and select which ones you want to change press and then now you have a list of data fields that you can update to and we're just going to select bearing for example now if you want to apply the changes press back and then your changes is locked in let's take a look at setup heading now here we have a couple things of interest. One, we can change the display of the direction letters on our compass. So we see we have our letters, numeric degrees or mills. Here I'm just going to flip it to numeric degrees. Hit back. You can see here now we have a couple numbers. Let's go back into our heading settings. And we can take a look at our north reference. You can see here that we have true magnetic grid or user settings. We'll just leave it to the default true. And finally, we have the option to change our go-to line or our pointer. So by default, it's on the large setting. You can also change it to the small, which will change the arrow to this. And the next option might be of useful if you are navigating across water or in the woods and you need to uh, go around obstacles. You want to make sure you're on coast or on course, I should say. So now we have our CDI or course deviation indicator. So there's a couple uh, features on this. First thing is we have our direction of travel arrow or go to pointer, which is still right here. Second component is this other uh, arrowhead, which is the uh, the relationship to the course line leading to the destination. So while let's say that we're going to be crossing, let's say we start our navigation, all right, this will give us our direction of travel for our destination. And let's say that we're navigating around an obstacle. As we're navigating around an obstacle, this arrow will start to change. This will stay kind of locked in. Third thing is, is as we go off course, this long line will start to detach and will start to drift either to the right or over to the left. These little notches or dots indicates by how much we'll be drifting off course. And the intervals is based up here. So for each dot, we're looking at 250 meters drift. Now we can use our zoom buttons up or down to change that to either 1.25 kilometers or five kilometers, which is pretty big drift depending on what you're doing. So by default, it's at 250 meters. So this kind of helps you do a little bit of navigation here. And finally, if you want to reset everything back to default, just choose restore defaults. And there you go, we're back to where we were before. And finally, to stop navigation, all we need to do is go up to where to, and then we can actually stop our navigation. And there you go, that is quickly how to get around the compass page on your Garmin e 22X or 32X.